Hello everyone, welcome to our special segment on groundbreaking advancements in science. Today we are exploring a fascinating area, artificial enzymes. Enzymes are special proteins that help speed up important chemical reactions in living things, but creating artificial virgins has been a big challenge. Joining us is Dr. Amit Vernekar from CSIR Central Leather Research Institute in Chennai. His team has made amazing progress with nanozymes, tiny materials that mimic the functions of natural enzymes. Dr. Vernekar and his team, who hail from Goa, have recently researched on a manganese-based nanozyme that has great potential in medicine. His team has also studied how biomolecules interact with nanozymes, which is key to making them effective for medical use. Their groundbreaking work was recently published in Chemical Science, a top journal in the field. Let us know more about these two studies and the innovative research and what it means for the future of artificial enzymes from Dr. Vernekar and his team. Our research focuses on a fascinating area of science that deals with artificial enzymes. We work at the interface of chemistry and biology, particularly engineering nanozymes. You would have known about aeroplane, the design of which is inspired by birds and they apply similar aerodynamic principles. In a similar line, we try to mimic enzymes, the biological catalyst through engineering of nanomaterials called nanozymes. What are enzymes? Enzymes are special protein in our bodies that help speed up important processes like digestion and energy production. They work like tiny tools, each designed for a specific job. Without enzymes, many of the things our bodies do every day would take much longer or wouldn't happen at all. In short, enzymes are essential for keeping us healthy and alive. In our recently reported scientific investigation, we explored how nanozymes interact with different substrates, including biological molecules like proteins. Collagen is a crucial protein in our bodies that provides strength and structure to our skin, bones, and tissues. To make collagen more durable for medical uses, such as in wound dressings or tissue grafts, we need to strengthen it through a process called cross-linking. However, current methods for cross-linking collagen often involve harmful chemicals that can damage collagen or are expensive and complex. Our research addresses these issues by using manganese-containing artificial enzymes that can efficiently cross-link collagen with minimal use of natural compounds and under gentle condition. This is significant because collagen plays a key role in maintaining the structure and function of tissues and enhancing its properties would have numerous applications in medicine and biotechnology. In another study, we designed a nanozyme that mimics the activity of an enzyme known as oxidase with a particular focus on controlling how these nanozymes interact with different molecules. We found that nanozymes' ability to selectively react with certain molecules could prevent damage to vital components like DNA. However, we also discovered that its activity could be influenced by the presence of small molecules, leading to unintended chemical reactions. This is the time to think how to develop efficient nanozymes and what they can do and they cannot. Well, Dr. Amit and his team has broken the barrier of nanozymes for safer and stronger collagen-based biomaterials. Dr. Amit focuses his research on nanozymes with the aim of achieving greater efficiency and specificity in artificial enzyme applications. Our research aims to address some of the key challenges in the development of nanozymes, particularly those related to their selectivity, specificity and efficiency. Current nanozymes often face limitations in these areas which can hinder their effectiveness in real-world applications. By improving the design and functionality of nanozymes, we hope to create next-generation artificial enzymes that are more precise in their actions. 
This could lead to significant advancement in therapeutic treatments where nanozymes could be used to target specific biological processes without causing unintended side effects. Additionally, our research aims to expand the scope of nanozyme applications beyond what is currently possible, particularly in the areas of biotechnology and material science. One of the standout findings from Dr. Amit's research is the manganese-based oxidase nanozyme or MNN. This MNN nanozyme, as described by the first author, Adarsh Fatrekar, can activate collagen, a major structural protein, and neatly cross-link its tyrosine residues using only a trace amount of tannic acid. We have discovered that manganese-containing nanozyme functions like natural oxidase enzymes, and through its enzyme-like activity, it stitches protein like collagen to give a strong and resistant biomaterial. This biomaterial does not easily degrade. Such biomaterials can have a lot of application in biology and medicine. By doing further research, these biomaterials can be used for variety of applications like hernia surgeries, tissue repair and cornea operations. In another important study, Dr. Wernicker and his team looked at how biomolecules interact with catalytic sites in a metal organic framework. This research shows how crucial it is to control these interactions for making effective artificial enzymes. As Rashmi Morachkar, the first author, explains more about this exciting finding. Metal organic frameworks, which are commonly denoted as MOFs, are class of materials composed of metal ions or clusters which are linked by organic linkers or ligands, forming a highly porous three-dimensional structures Owing to this unique structural features, they find uh, immense interest in design of artificial enzyme mimetics. In our research work, we have highlighted the critical role of pore engineering of MOF in achieving selectivity in enzyme mimetic activity. Specifically, we have used MOF-808 construct with the active site placed within the pore similar to the enzyme binding pockets. So, and also we demonstrated how the small pore opening of MOF-808 can precisely control the approach of these uh, substrates to the active site. By using MOFs, we aim to design the next generation enzyme like mimetics with enhanced efficiency, selectivity and specificity in their action which is essential for their potential use in biomedical application and also several therapeutic uses. Further, Dr. Wernicker focuses on the significant benefits of his research and also shares what these benefits are and what type of medical applications might gain from these findings. The main benefits of our research lie in the potential to revolutionize how we use artificial enzymes in both medicine and industry. By creating nanozymes that are more selective and efficient, we can develop new therapies that are safer and more effective. For example, Nanozymes could be used to selectively target harmful molecules in the body, reducing the risk of side effects. In addition to therapeutic applications, our research could lead to the development of stronger and more durable biomaterials. For instance, the work we did with collagen shows how nanozymes can be used to enhance the properties of natural materials, which could be beneficial in areas like tissue engineering, wound healing and development of surgical implants. Our findings also provide valuable insights into the design of nanozymes which could be helpful guide future research in this field. Our research has the potential to benefit a wide range of medical applications. One of the key areas is in the development of new treatments for diseases that involve oxidative stress where nanozymes could be used to neutralize harmful reactive oxygen species in the body. This could be particularly useful in treating conditions such as neurodegenerative diseases, cardiovascular diseases and certain types of cancer. Additionally, our work on collagen cross-linking could lead to the creation of stronger and more resilient biomaterial for use in medical implants, tissue regeneration and wound healing. This material could be used to improve the outcomes of surgeries and to develop new treatments for conditions 
that require the repair or replacement of damaged tissues. Furthermore, by preventing unwanted reactions with DNA and critical molecules, nanozyme could help in protecting cells and tissues from damage during medical treatments. As with any research, teamwork plays a crucial role. Dr. Vernikar highlights the importance of team collaboration and shares his thoughts on the next steps for his research. In the recent investigation, our team was composed of students who are basically from chemistry background, each with expertise at the interface of chemistry and biology. This unique combination of skills allowed us to approach the research from multiple angles. We carefully looked at the challenges associated with designing artificial enzymes and what they can do versus what they cannot do in a biological system. We carefully conceived the idea and meticulously analyzed the problems we aim to solve. By integrating our knowledge of chemistry and biology, we were able to design and execute the study effectively, leading to the innovative findings we have today in the area of artificial enzymes. We hope that people will recognize the significant potential of nanozymes to address some of the most pressing challenges in medicine and biotechnology. Our studies demonstrate that with careful design, nanozymes can be made to perform highly selective, efficient reactions, opening up new possibilities for their use in therapeutic treatments and the development of advanced biomaterials. We also want to highlight the importance of understanding and addressing the limitations of current nanozyme technology as this is crucial for advancing the field. Ultimately, we hope that our work will inspire further research and innovation in this area, leading to the development of new nanozymes that can be used to improve human health and well-being. In addition to this scientific insight, we hope to inspire young students and researchers to explore this exciting area of research. The field of nanozyme is still growing and there is immense potential for innovation. By sharing our work, we aim to attract the next generation of scientists who will continue to push the boundaries of what nanozymes can achieve, ultimately contributing to improvements in human health and addressing challenges in industrial applications. The next steps for our research involve further refining the design of our nanozymes to enhance their performance and explore new applications for these materials. We plan to investigate how nanozymes can be used in more complex biological systems such as living cells and tissues to better understand their potential therapeutic benefits. Additionally, we will continue to explore the use of nanozymes in the development of new biomaterials, particularly those that can be used in regenerative medicine and tissue engineering. Another important area of focus will be on improving the scalability and cost effectiveness of our nanozyme production methods to make this material more accessible for real world applications. Finally, we will work on addressing any remaining challenges related to the safety and stability of nanozyme to ensure that they can be used effectively and safely in medical and industrial settings. We immensely thank Department of Science and Technology India for the financial support through the DST Inspire Faculty Award. We are also thankful to CSIR Central Leather Research Institute for seed research grant. It is indeed a proud moment for us Goans as we celebrate this young team of scientists who have researched on artificial enzymes, giving a breakthrough in the field of enzymology. It was indeed a pleasure presenting this wonderful segment on Prudent Media. Keep watching Prudent. <laughs>